I've been in New York recently and Los Angeles recently, and lists like this are becoming much more common. And we're just fortunate in Austin that we happen to be a little farther ahead on that curve yeah. than most of the rest of the country. But it's but it is a great curve because there are so many great palettes, master sommeliers, and MS candidates. You know, driving these wine lists. And and that's the venture goal for me is you know when you walk into a restaurant or a wine bar like Mulberry. Um, it, it's a place to come in and try something different that you can't do at a retail store where you're going to commit to a bottle of wine. Um, you have to go home with that bottle, you bring it home, you cool it down or get it ready to cant it, pour it in the glass with your meal and it's, you find out it's not really your thing. But coming to a restaurant or a wine bar where you get to try it first or if it's not your thing, return it, they get you something else. We're here to please every time and all I want is the customer walking out happy with their choices in the end and feeling good about it. And again, it's not an educational thing and there is no, you know, wrong choices it's just a matter of what's good for you yeah everybody you know i always say everybody knows everything they need to know about wine and everybody goes what do you mean i said you know what you like yeah if you like it that's all you need to know you know if you really really want a, a glass of sauvignon blanc with your hamburger have that sauvignon blanc with your hamburger it, it, it's not wrong the, yeah. the, the rules are are only meant to be guidelines they're not even rules yeah I mean, you know, we always throw those guidelines out there. Again, people are going to go back to what they really like, and that's fine. And, you know, what I just like is to encourage experimentation. And, okay, if you like that, then try this. Or if you really think that's good, how about this? You like Chardonnays? How about an Encruzado from Portugal? It's really cool. And actually, those wines can over-deliver and save you a lot of money in the, in the, you know, in the long run Absolutely. when you're buying wines like that, that they're not selling for the label. They're not selling for the marketing. The cost of the wine is all in the bottle. You're, you're not paying for some, somebody in New York's big score. Exactly. You know, you're, yeah. you're paying for a real person's time, a real person's effort, their land that maybe they've owned for generations, and what they do every day. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah, exactly. Well, great. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rob. It. Pleasure. Thank yeah. you so much for the kind words and your time. My pleasure, Brian Phillips. All right. Thank you. Wine manager Anytime. at Mulberry and Haddington's. I'm Rob Moshine, Austin Wine Guy from my buddies at Wines.com. Thanks for spending the time with us. Cheers. Cheers.